the stock market game trading portfolio. We'll be highlighting a few important sections and pages in the student trading portfolio. We'll be covering account summary, rules of the game, enter a trade, transaction notes, pending orders, and account holdings. Let's start with logging in to your trading portfolio. Visit www.stockmarketgame.org to log in with your ID and password. If you don't know what your ID and password are, reach out to your teacher or parent or guardian. Once you've logged in, you'll arrive at the home page, more commonly referred to as the account summary page. The first thing you'll notice is a pop-up message. This pop-up has important information from your stock market game coordinator, as well as alerts from the National Help Desk. Make sure your browser doesn't block pop-ups. You can also find the messages here. Account info provides information like your team ID, session date, ranking, total equity versus S&P 500 performance, account type, margin versus cash, and trade types, real time versus end of day. You can find out more information about these terms by clicking the I button. Account summary is a financial summary of your portfolio. The account summary is updated overnight to reflect transactions you made during the previous business day. It does not update in real time. Team rankings compares your team's portfolio performance against other participants in your session. Region rankings represents your team's performance as compared to other active teams in your session in your assigned region. In most cases, regions are determined by grade and location. Coordinator rankings represents your team's performance as compared to all active teams in your session, regardless of grade or location. Newsfeed provides financial news from CNBC. This is a great source to stay abreast of current events affecting the stock market, along with providing ideas on companies your team may want to research further. Again, if there's anything you'd like to learn more about on this page and other pages in the portfolio, you can click the I button. You can also click any term highlighted in blue for more information. The Rules of the Game page can be accessed by hovering over Resources and clicking Rules of the Game. You can view all the national rules for the stock market game here. Be sure to also click on local rules to familiarize yourself with the rules specific to your SMG program. The rules video will go over the national rules in more detail. The enter a trade page can be accessed by hovering over trade and enter a trade. You can enter all buy and sell transactions here. We'll be reviewing this page in the stock research and trading video. The Transaction Notes page can be accessed by hovering over Trade and clicking Transaction Notes. Transaction Notes provides information on each of the trades you've entered, including whether or not the trade was executed. This page updates in real time. For teams participating in a real-time game, stock trades entered during market hours, 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, will be processed immediately and will appear on this page. Please note that the Transaction History page shows all the activity that has occurred in a team's portfolio, including interest, dividends, and corporate actions. Pending orders can be accessed by Trade, Pending Orders. Pending Orders is a list of the trades that you have entered but have not yet been executed. This page updates in real time. Trades that are entered when the stock exchanges are closed will appear in Pending Orders. In addition, mutual fund and bond trades entered during market hours will immediately appear in pending orders until they execute at the end of the business day. The next page we will review is the account holdings page, which can be accessed by hovering over portfolio and clicking account holdings. Account holdings provides information about the stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, referred to as securities, currently in your portfolio. The account holdings is updated overnight to reflect transactions you made during the previous business day. It doesn't update in real time. The pie chart highlights your team's current holdings organized by asset type, 
stocks, mutual funds, bonds, and cash. This is a great way to gauge diversification. Underneath the pie chart is a chart that lists all the securities in your portfolio. While account holdings displays unrealized gains or losses from securities held in your portfolio, the Realized Gains and Losses page displays the equity gained or loss when a team sells their securities. It also includes interest earned and dividend payments. Question to consider. What page of the portfolio will you be visiting the most? Explain why. Thanks for watching.